I couldn't throw this laptop. I'm gonna post some instructions. We're not gonna be doing those. <laughs> this is the summons. Like, what? Okay, like right now I'm about to have a freaking mental breakdown. What the heck? I never even heard of these languages. What? <laughs> my channel if you're new here go ahead stop what you're doing right now hit that subscribe button also turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you're returning welcome back don't forget to like and comment let's start this journey together okay you guys so as you're about the title I'm going to be reviewing the Sony's VZ1 camera I finally got my hands on it it's been sold out since COVID I've been dying to test out this camera like I finally literally just walked in Best Buy and was like, forget it, I'm going, I'm cashing out. I'm cashing out. So we have the actual Sony's V1 camera. This is what the boxing looks like. And I didn't get the kit. I had to buy everything separate. Don't ask me why Best Buy is just weird like that. But it came in like a good price, if that makes sense. So I kind of paid the same price, but this is the vlogger's kit. Um, it comes with the tripod, it comes with a SD card, and I'm not sure what else it comes with, but we're going to unbox everything because that's the purpose of this video. So you guys, sit back, relax, enjoy, chill, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, don't mind me if I'm spinning around in this chair. I'm in my gaming setup. The house is going through remodeling, so yeah, we're going to be in my little gaming area from time to time. But... Let's not talk y'all head off. Let's get into unboxing this camera because I'm ready to use it, okay? Okay, so first I'm going to start off with the actual retail price and what I paid for it. Um, let me go on the Best Buy. I should have had this already. You know, hold on, give me one second. Hold on, y'all. I'll come be right back. Two hours later. Okay, guys, so I'm back. So I went to Best Buy. I got the camera, like I told you guys, sold separately. Um, I think the, well, ain't no think. Let me quote right. The original price of the camera was $749.99. Um, I am a Total Tech member because, I mean, why not? I get all these electronics. That's crazy. I mean, something breaks. <laughs> Y'all gonna fix it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, so with Total Tech, you do have some perks. So I got a discount sale off of $100 off of the camera. And it retailed after that for $649.66. Um, the vlogger accessory kit before price was $149.99. After total tech, I got $50 off. So it came out to be $99.32. So you can't tell me that that's not a deal. Like, that's why I was like, let me just go on here and get this camera. So the grand total of everything together was $819.10, which is not bad because it's a Sony's product. Like, that's almost, before, like, you know, taking my total tech price off, it's almost a thousand dollars. So, I feel like I won. Or maybe I was being I don't know. We can figure it out. So, you guys, let's get straight into it. Let's, I mean, let's just get straight into it. Again, I'm going to show you the box. Let me take a thumbnail. I got the black one. There is a white one, but I just, something about white just gives me dingy in electronics. Like, I don't, that's not me. So, I'm going to open this bad boy up. See, come to some instructions. We're not going to be reading those. We never read instructions here on this channel, which I should. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to pick them up later. More instructions. Mm -hmm. It's kind of basic and straight to the point, honestly. The cameras are, that is. So, I don't want anything to drop. <laughs> but this is what it looks like in the inside of the box. I can already see the remote, the battery. I think that's the remote. I'm not sure. <clears throat> the remote, the battery. No, that's not a remote. Anyways, oh, this camera is like extra small. That's what I wanted because my Canon is so freaking big. So that's really why I bought this camera. So I can get away with vlogging in public and not feel embarrassed or ashamed. So, yeah. I can say embarrassed or ashamed. But you know, vlogging in public is just vlogging in public. It's just weird. Like, you're talking to yourself. People are looking at you. Okay, rent over. But like I said, in the inside of the box, you can see that the camera is wrapped up. Um, there's a battery, looks like a charging cable, USB. I don't know what this is, but let's see. This one. Now, the only downfall that I'm not about to like even like 
lie, sit on camera and lie is the fact that you know, you all know if you have like Canon cameras, Canon cameras, their battery port, matter of fact, let me show y'all. Canon batteries, you can charge your battery, like take it out the camera and actually charge it, charge it. This camera, I think, has to be like physically plugged up into the wall. It is 2022. Why are we doing it? I mean, I, I, I mean, I just feel like it's convenient for me to have several batteries and I can switch them out. So I don't know how I feel about this. And then they said the battery life to this camera is not that good. But I'm gonna test it out for myself. I'm not going out for this. I'm gonna do it myself. I'm just gonna be an honest review because Sony's is not sponsoring me. They didn't pay for this camera. So I'm gonna be honest. So the camera comes in a little styrofoam bubble wrap or whatever. The camera is really light and really. Oh my God. Uh, it's so tiny. This camera is really, really tiny. It is really, really sleek. I'm loving the matte black on the front. And then on the back, it's like way more shiny. So let's see what we have here. Maybe I should have read the trucks. Who cares? Also, the lens is built in. That is a plus. The lens is already built in. They say the focus and automatic zoom on this thing is amazing. Especially for vlogging if you're moving and you have things in the background. So I'm a little bit excited for that as well. Um, I just got pissed off because, wait a minute. I thought this thing came with the freaking sound reducer and it don't. Like, y'all, this is really just a freaking camera. Like, does it come in here? I don't know, we'll, we'll see. But anyways, I really thought that came with this. I thought that this little noise reducer, let me see. The noise reducer, I thought that came with the actual camera. I want to best buy a little bit. I'm gonna be a little bit upset if I ask this money. But that's kind of a downfall of some of these because cannons come with all of that. Some cannons, not all cannons, but if you get the vlogger's kit, it comes with that. So I guess I had to get the vlogger's kit. I have no idea. So a plus is though that the lens is automatic automatically in and I think it all it does have automatic focus zoom things of that nature on the top you have your control buttons oh it records in 4k plus uh, on the top you have your on and your off button I'm pretty sure that's the record button not sure what the rest of these buttons are like I said I need to read you have on the back your playback button your up down delete zoom in and your menu button, I don't know what that is. Then you have your HDMI cord. Let's see, what else is on this thing? Then on the bottom, I guess this is where the battery goes. You have your lock and unlock. Yeah, that's where the battery goes. Yeah, just learned that on camera. Uh, and also, this is where you can put your tripod. So let's get into what else came with this. Oh, it did. Mm. I apologize. I thought this was a little baggy for the camera, but it did. I'm sorry, Sony. I apologize. Don't charge it to too my heart. This was just a little small. My Canon one is huge compared to this, so yeah, like I'm gonna show y'all my Canon one compared to this little bitty thing. This is my Canon microphone speaker sound reducer. This is the Sonics. <laughs> This is so tiny. Like, I guess because the camera's so freaking small. But just imagine walking around this big old thing trying to vlog versus this little thing. So, that's why I thought that, I thought this was gonna lie. I thought this was a little baggy, a little dust bag. So, I'm gonna take that bag. It does come with it. Don't crucify me. Which, I don't know. Oh, oh. Okay, so this goes on the top. This little thing right here where my pinky was. Y'all, I'm really just winging it. I don't be reading stuff. How does it go on here? We're gonna have to read that, okay? Put it. Yo, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to actually read. Let me put this. <laughs> Let me read first. Okay, so next we have in the packaging we have the Sony's battery. That's tiny as well, because Canon's batteries are huge. And also you have your charging USB. Um, no, it does not come with a block. Supply your own block. Apple don't even come with blocks no more. So, at this point, so separately. So, let's move on to the vlogger kit. 
Now, the only thing that I don't like that, I mean, I bought it just to compare and to see if I like it. I don't even like my candy tripod, my candies, my Canon's tripod that it comes with. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. So all the tripods that come with the actual cameras, I only like them because, you know, you can use the remote, the remote Bluetooth. So that's really the only reason why I buy the tripods. But truth be told, they're literally like uncomfortable. So I'm probably gonna end up purchasing my own tripod for my Sony's camera, like I did for my Canon. I have like six tripods for my Canon. So let's unbox. Let's see. It says it comes with a dust bag, the memory card, SD card, and the actual tripod. So it's, I call it a tripod. Is it a tripod? I don't know. Is that the correct term? A box in a box. Save the earth. <laughs> See. So this is what the box inside of the box looks like. <laughs> Um, it just shows another picture of how you can use it. I don't see it just looks uncomfortable Like I feel like that's an awkward position for your hand to be in. I, I don't like it. I don't think I like it so Let's, let's open this up. It's hot Ooh. You live in Louisiana right now. The weather is so bipolar like it's 22 degrees outside Y'all up north Northerners y'all you said we used to wear swimsuits in the middle of December for Christmas, we used to put on some flip flops and some shorts. It is freaking cold. Like Christmas Day is supposed to be like 18, the wind chill. That's cold for us. So don't talk about us, but that's cold. We not used to it. Just like y'all not used to hurricanes and we not used to the cold. So, more instructions. I don't know why you, well, I do know why you need instructions for the tripod because I don't even know why you set up. Let's see. Okay, so this is the little dust bag that it advertises on the box. This is cute. <laughs> Probably not gonna use it, just being honest. I don't put things in where they belong. What else is supposed to come up in here? SD card? Oh, maybe it's in the box that I threw on the floor. Mm -hmm. And it is. I think. I don't know, y'all. Does it come with an SD card or did I just like see that for myself? I know y'all saw the SD card on side of that thing. Because it says plus SD card. Let's see. Maybe the SD card is in I don't know what this is, but whatever. Am I tripping or does this come with the SD card? Because it says plus SD card. Let me Hold on. Hold on. Yes, it said it includes this on the back. Now, who don't open this box at Best Buy and then sold the SD card? Because I want my money back. It's 64 gigs. Or memory. Yeah, for real, what an SD card. What, I'm going to find it in a minute. Give me, give me a second. Let's just review this real quick. So, hmm, that's interesting. This is what the tripod looks like. Maybe, I don't know, it's getting thick. And my arms and hands are little, so I don't know. Um, and this is what the stand looks like. So you can stand it up, like if you have it on your desk or anything like that. The bottom part says Sony's, of course. Um, let's see, you can lock it, which I like because on the Canon, you cannot lock the tripod. I think you wiggling. I mean, it has a lock, but it's not really secure and it doesn't really say lock. So I don't know if that is the lock. So yeah, um, there's a movie button, a photo button, and a C1 button. Don't know what that means. And oh sh it's blinking. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I just did, but I did something and it started blinking. And then there's this up and down type of button. It's like a trigger. I guess that that's the remote. See the remote on the cannon is different. It's not like this is an actual remote that you can literally take off the drive by. You know, you know. And I do this. I don't know, we're gonna have to read. I'm about to come back, <laughs> set this stuff up, charge the camera, because as you know, you gotta charge the whole thing. And then I'm gonna try to go side by side to see which one is better, like, you know. So, and then on top of that, I'm gonna try to find my SD card because somebody done stole my SD card on the box. Like I said, I'm gonna best buy a little bit, and I want my point if somebody done stole this SD card on this box. But I'll be back. 12 seconds later. So I'm back. 
And unfortunately, I am freaking pissed. Okay, because some raggedy individual stole the SD card out of my blogging kit. So I'm gonna have to go to the store, like I said, and I'm gonna have to come back and not redo, but I can't show y'all, I can't compare it to y'all what the cameras look like without an SD card. You all know it's not gonna work and what it's gonna save on. So we're just gonna finish doing this unboxing and putting this camera together. And then I will insert the clips of what the camera looks like versus the other camera, the Canon Mark M50 versus the Sony's VZ1. Like my nerves is shocked. Who steals an SD card? 64 gigabytes at that. I figured out how to put the um the noise reducer thing on. I call it a little rat, but whatever. Let me take it off. Let me take it off without breaking it. Okay, so it comes with this little piece that I didn't know that comes off, which is this little piece on the camera. Oh, let me make I look ugly and heavy. So this little piece comes off of the camera. Like this little piece that slides out and you just pop it out like that. And then it opens up where you can see where you can screw the noise reducer. And it goes kind of like sideways and you do it like this. So that's what makes it look like it goes in the middle. It's just an illusion. And it clamps on like that. Easy. What is it? Easy, breezy, beautiful color girl. <laughs> so, I haven't turned it on, so you guys are gonna do this with me, okay? Let's turn it on. Okay, first you have your language set up, which I mean, we're English. Set the area, date and time. Yada, yada, yada. I'll do that later. What do I do that now? Daylight savings. Are we on daylight savings? <laughs> I can't, I never know that. I have to ask like an actual adult. Like, I'm a young adult. I gotta ask an actual adult. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, sure. Why not? Today's December the. Mm. Hey, Siri. What's today's date? It's Tuesday, December 20th, 2022. 2022. Hey, Siri. What time is it? It's 2 10 p.m. This is, you go here, I don't even know, why, why am I acting like y'all can see that? <laughs> this right here says that you go to the image and editing, we'll do that later. Wait, I just learned something, shut your mouth, it's not touch screen. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh wow, oh wow, I was not expecting that. Okay, so the lens just popped out, <laughs> voila, magic. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's a cute little view. I wish y'all could see what I see. Well, I mean, I'll show y'all. I don't know if you can really see the quality of the camera. But um, this is what I look like from the camera. <laughs> you know. But I can't record because like I said, these raggedy people stole the SD card. But it's giving. I love the fact that this just popped out. Like it just... <laughs> I love that. Like, oh my God, I cannot wait to record this. It's literally blinking and saying no freaking cord. Like, it's literally saying no cord. I don't even know if you can see it. Yeah, no cord in orange. But I am so excited and I cannot wait. I, like I said, I'm going to come back to show you guys because I want you guys to hear the audio. I want you guys to be able to see what I'm seeing and compare the two and tell me which one is better. Um, Only thing that I'm not gonna lie, let me make sure before I talk shit. It's not touch screen. The only thing I can see that's like touchable is when I try to focus it. That's the only thing. Like that's the only thing that I see. But other than that, it's like this is not touch screen. Am I tripping? Oh, I'm I'm all over the place, y'all. I'm sorry, but y'all know how I am when I do these reviews. It's an honest review. I ain't getting sponsored. I ain't I ain't paid for this. This is a mirrorless camera as well. So I don't know if I told you guys, I should have said that in the beginning. So yeah, it does come out to the side, like my Canon M50. My first Canon, I don't even remember what camera that is because I don't even pick it up anymore. It's just a regular Canon. A Canon, I wouldn't say M1, it's just a Canon 2. Canon Mark 
or something like that. It doesn't, it's not a mirrorless. It flips off at the top and that's why I ended up upgrading to the Canon M50 because it came out to the side and it was good for vlogging. Especially when I'm in my car. That thing used to hit my windshield. That was very much dangerous. So that's why I ended up upgrading to that camera. And this camera, it just looks like it literally will fit in my pocket. Like if I wanted to take this to the movies and record, I'm not gonna, I mean, I'm not gonna bootleg no movie. But I'm just saying, I can get away with it. Cause this is just so small and sleek. Like, I love that. So let's see what it looks like when you turn it off. How it goes back in. It's like magic. Like, oh my god, let's, let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> I can't wait to use this camera. Why y'all had to steal the SD cord out of the freaking box? I wonder if they're gonna give me a discount because that's considered an open box. Hmm. Best Buy, counter dates. Okay, counter dates. I am a total tech member. And y'all playing with me. I just can't get over there, y'all. But overall, looking at this camera, exploring it, um, Let's do menu button. Let's do that first. Okay, so you have <laughs> you have your JPEG. Um, this C C C Canyon. You getting up already? You have your file format, your JPEG quality, your image size. Let's see what else you got. You got your high ISO and R. You have your color space, shooting mode. I just can't believe this is not touch screen. It's really upsetting me and my homegirls because it's like, damn. Okay, I like this right here, it spins. You can change the listings with this little button right here. You can literally just like spin it in a circle and it changes. You have your exposure, of course, your format, your HR settings. You have your network. I'm not gonna do that right now just because I don't have my SD card. Um, you have your, mo your monitor brightness, your volume settings, your delete confirmation. And then you have your power save, start, auto power off temperature. Also, I guess if it overheats, it turns off by itself. I don't think my, yeah, my Canon does do that. Do that. It shuts off in the middle of freaking recording. I hope this doesn't do it. So, I read a little bit more on this right here, the W and the T, but I still don't know what it means. So, I'm going to have to watch this tutorial. So, and then the top button, like I said, that's the record button, but of course it says no freaking memory cord. So, we can't do that just yet. So, yeah, you have your delete button, like I said. I just cannot get over how small this freaking camera is. Like, this is so cool. Like, it just gives, like, it gives quality. It gives quality, but at the same time, it ain't touch me. I mean, maybe that's not really a downfall because I do get aggravated when I'm holding my candy and my hands touch something and it goes to something else. So that might be a plus. And maybe it's a good thing to have different cameras, you know, to do different things. So, I don't know. When I get to vlogging with it, you'll find out. I'm going to do, like, an update on which one I really feel like is better. So, this is just an unboxing video. So, of course, you guys, I mean, it's just me putting it together and unboxing it. So, let's turn this off. <laughs> it just feels so professional. <laughs> I don't even want to freaking open this up. I'm just leaving it. I boxed it back up. We're going to take this back to the store. Prefer. But the button, I forgot what it said. Let me see. I literally just seen some instructions that said TS, TW, and TS. Like, what the heck? That's the goddamn button. I don't know what the button do. Okay. Like, now I'm about to have a freaking mental breakdown. Like, what the heck? What the heck? I just hit the damn principal. Half of this stuff is in Portuguese, Suomi. I never even heard of these languages. What? Okay, so update. Um, I know I keep saying update, but I, I still don't know what the CSW means. I'm gonna read more about it. I told y'all this is just an unboxing video. This is not how to how to work it. This is it's unboxing. We just open it up on camera. Okay. So you guys. Like I said, I'm gonna insert the clip later on. Well, this is gonna be the past it. So it's gonna be somewhere in the video, but this is 
you get it. All right, you guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video. I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn that post notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video and you won't miss out. In the future, I do plan to do a comparison on the two cameras. Actually, I might do a comparison on the three since I have three cameras now. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoy watching me unbox this new camera, the Sony V1. I'm really upset right now. I'm trying to fight through the pain because I got to go out in this freezing cold weather and it's raining to go get an SD card. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. See you in the next video. Bye. All right, you guys, so as promised, this is me in the future coming to you guys, showing you the quality of the Sonys. I feel so stupid because I could use any of the SD cards. So I went on a rant for nothing, but really it was not not nothing because I paid for it and it wasn't in the kit. So I returned it, but I'm using right now like my regular SD card that I use in my Canon. So it's fine, but the quality, I am 100% satisfied. 100% satisfied. <laughs> satisfied with the quality. This is me, natural lighting, no ring light. So, I'm so. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. So, this is me in the future again. I'm insert this into the clip. Let me know what you guys think.